Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Brad from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll start with Bragg. Uh, it was a quiet one this week, because Tuesday, I do not remember. Um, missed the event today, because we needed deck lists. And also, I needed uh, Shando Beldum, which I did not get. That's enough about Pokemon. Because there's been so... Oh, also, so much Pokemon locals. Which... There's far less enthusiasm than Yu-Gi-Oh, which must mean something. Yes. They're not used to getting the shit kicked out of them by the company and being told to say thank you for it, so they're probably not used to not having nearly as many events and making it nearly twice as hard to qualify for stuff. Whereas, like, it's just another day for us (laughs) Yu-Gi-Oh people that shit changes and we have to say thanks. (laughs) Yeah. I, I do think... I. I appreciate the sentiment in the community of no, I won't go to a game that gives money. I'm going to sit here and tell Konami I want it, I want this game to give out money. Yes, I appreciate that. Hold the line. Um, also, in my week in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm doing the uh, YCS Sacramento. Oh, damn, I didn't want to admit it on camera actually because if only there was a facility for us to edit this part so that you didn't say it. I'm not editing this part. No. Nah, Look, this might be against the terms of. Show. Sorry, yeah, damn, I might get banned now. Jerome, if you're watching. On this video podcast, actually in the survey, only video podcasts uh, are part of uh, content that a Yu-Gi-Oh player can watch. No audio podcasts. Sorry. Watch already being the uh, problem there in that sentence. But Consume. But I suppose... Uh, we were I'm audio not, I'm first. Not go, I'm not going to go down that fucking rabbit hole. Anyway. Podcasts are audio as well. Don't forget where you came from. They're all uh, silent films. In playing Valmonica, uh, I've finally... If Gamma ever comes back to three, I might just put those cards in the bin. Because, my God. <laughs> the Gamma is a train wreck. I, this whole time I'm going, well, why doesn't this deck do more? And like, I, get, I don't get why it doesn't do more in the TCG world, besides the fact that Finn Smith is just completely better in other decks. Uh, yeah, Gamma really fucks it. And it makes me sad. So, keep top decking at opponents on Master Jewel. I love it. <laughs> ben. My week in Yu Gi Oh! My very mysterious Man, week in Yu Gi Oh! I can't remember what happened. Like, <laughs> Shocking. Every... Ben doesn't remember what happened on Tuesday. <laughs> what happened on Tuesday? Ah, uh, what's the final? Again. To Shifter? Yeah. Mm. What happened today? I oh, lost the final. Again. Not to Shifter. I've lost four consecutive finals. What's it wrong? Makes me feel really good. Yeah. Except for the part where today, because there was draws, I didn't get my invite. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you just get your invite later. Yeah, Ben didn't mention it, but most of you would know our OTS champs was today. I'm devastated. You were very upset. You were, to liken it to a part of Jake's history, um, you were like me when I woke up from my um, belly button surgery and they'd given me chicken instead of pasta. Yeah. I was throwing things around, chucking a bit of a tanty. I don't think my complacency cost me the game. Like, realistically, opening one hand trap cost me the game. But at the same time, in both of the two games that I lost to you, I had something I could have done to change the outcome. Yes. Mainly because, after the fact, I didn't know what happens if I pop the link to... Um, what should we call it? The link to Unchained Cut. Oh. Sure. What happens if I ogre that? If you ogre it, yeah. um, I get stuff back from Grave and I can destroy stuff anyway. Okay. Anyway. But then you're going to get the SP and the SP doesn't get the banish. And that was the problem. It was a problem. Mm. Was there many problems? Was there many mm. other problems that... I think I had some. I think I had some hand trap. I can't remember what it was. Ah. I feel as though I had a a bestial, maybe. It was your destiny. Yep. It'll all come back around eventually. My hand game one at the final after I lose Daryl to Jake was the trap for the rabbit. Uh, Drew a swarm, drew a swarm. (laughs) Uh, I think it was then Flame Boge and Bonfire. That's a hand. I was like. Cool, this is going to go to the next game. Awesome. Makes me feel real good. Um, 
Yeah. It's okay. It's still very early in the season. Still plenty of time. I don't want to play the season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have to go to regionals. I mean, you can just wait for the next OTS chant run. Mainly, and... also because like the best deck's about to be hit, and I don't want to play Ubel. And it's like I don't want to spend money. Yeah, I get, I get that. Welcome to the. You got to spend money to make money, though. You making yeah. money? If I could buy singles from my locals, it'd be great. I'd have something to do with the two hundred and fifty odd dollars of store credit I have. Oh. You can buy out all the battle spirit stargers uh, that are on special. Uh. Oh, we'll build battle spirit stargers locals. We'll talk. Starter decks are like they're on clearance. <laughs> he, wants you to, <laughs> he wants you to buy Star Wars. <laughs> I don't want to play Star Wars. No, no, it's a rack. Means I have to no, interact I mean, with as the in Star I'm, Wars people. I'm looking oh, it. I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, not not on pot. I don't anyway. want to play proper Battle Spirit Saga. Can you tell Konami I don't want to play Battle Spirit Saga? Um, well, it's asking me why do I no longer play Duel Links. And the, my options are, I've lost interest, it's too difficult, it's too different than the TCG, I prefer playing the physical TCG, or there's no time. None so, of those options are because those it's expensive. That it's ludicrously expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, do you reckon it's because they know that and they just want to see if there's other reasons, or they know that... But they don't want you to have to tell them that. You have to answer. I'll say no time, because time is money. Can time you, is money. Can you make a complaint to Konami about not giving out top four invites for OTS champs anymore? Would I like to enter the drawing for a Rescue Rabbit plush? Yes. No. Yes. No, because it'll involve them working out where he lives <laughs> and then they'll know that he wasn't where he's supposed to be. All right. Um, How was my, your week? My week um, Started off shit Because uh, I was playing <laughs> Terra um, And yeah uh, Milling things to the bin Is not great uh, But then because The OTS chance Was coming up And I had the availability To play A semi-competent deck I thought I had the ability To borrow a Lurie One Lurie was all I needed no, And I thought Yeah about typically it the... is all you need Yeah <laughs> um, But yeah uh, So I did borrow a Lurie To put together Unchained Fiendsmith of which a profile will be coming soon. Um, and yeah, really went into today with very low expectations. Uh, the one thing I was expecting if I happened to top was that I'd get a deck box. Apparently that's not a thing. Um, but he, we, we sit down for the final and he was like, I want that orange deck box. And I was like, this isn't a regional. <laughs> we get the map though. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, so, uh, round one versus uh, Fiends... No, Snake Eyes Fiendsmith. Um, it was Hale. It was Hale. Hi, Hale. Uh, yeah. I, hope I, I really hope I pronounced your name correctly. Sorry, I should have asked the proper pronunciation. <laughs> As you can see, pronunciation's not his job. <laughs> not at no. It is an annoying word to pronounce. 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 C-H... Anyway, uh, so yeah, first hail, maybe hail, uh, in the first round playing I wouldn't wave eyes. a hand when you say that. Yeah, I was... Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. So they played round one. Yes. Um, and, yeah, managed to win that one. Uh, versed Ethan on Fiendsmith U Bell in round two. He bricked so bad. Oh, yep. So bad. And both games I had the talents, so I think... Game one, he uh, ashed my tour guide or something, a rebel, something like that. That's uh, what I did with my one hander. Uh, I tactics looked at his hand, took away the only semblance of a starter card that he had. Oh, wait, no, he didn't even have a starter. I think he had Spirit, uh, Grave Squirmer, and uh, something else. And some, anyway, it Can made you? it, I made it so his hand was irrelevant. When and we I were set playing up my full board. Thrust Search Dark Hole, I was like, oh, so he's not playing evenly. No, okay. I didn't sight. I didn't sight evenly. I thought about it, yeah. but I didn't. You dropped it, and I was like, "This doesn't do anything, Jake." <laughs> yeah, I know. My hand didn't do anything. Yeah. The second the SP was on the board, I knew that game was over. Okay. Anyway, uh, skipping ahead, uh, beat. Skipping ahead, it's the literally the next round. Yeah, I know, yeah, but I wasn't thus, finished talking about thingy. Uh, slightly stepping ahead. Yeah. A mild stumble, and we're at the point. In game two against Ethan, 
Um, the only thing that he could set up was a Phantom of Ubel, for which I had the core by, for which he had the Solemn Judgment. Your game was like instantly over. For which I had the tactics to steal it and then kill it. Now, our game. Um, what? Um, admittedly, I don't remember the interactions of your game. You've sort of highlighted I, I it. I literally couldn't missed... play a single... You didn't put a single Dark in Grave until you made the XE, so I was like... Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Activate? <laughs> Do you turn French when you can't break a board? There's a difference between can't break a board and not having any semblance of material to break a board. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, despite not expecting to, I ended up winning the OTS Store Champs today. I was very happy to have done so, because now for the next nine months, I don't have to think about anything relevant in the format. I can throw tier names in the bin, not hit a single good mill, and not give up. Fuck. You watch, we get a monkey pox epidemic, and you'll be doing it in 2027. So you're True. telling me I have three years to get my invite? Well, well, no, it's still one year because they won't host any events for you to get your invites. <laughs> uh, they, they know how to run remote duel. Oh, yeah, we had so much fun in that remote duel, didn't we? Cheers in the chat, boys. Cheers, Cheers, in, Cheers the chat. in the chat. <laughs> Um, and then in Master Duel, um, been playing in the new cup, which uh, we'll go into in a minute, yeah. and I hate it. Yeah, I mean... For I, yet, many you, reasons, I uh, love it. You were on the other night, you were like, I'm doing this, and I was like, that sounds like a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> Why are you subjecting yourself to this? For the gems. Uh, I just have a bunch of gems there I'm just not using. Yeah, no, but you also don't play, so it's irrelevant how many gems you have. <laughs> what yeah. option do you take on the mm -hmm. survey? I said play every day. Jibs. Anyway, so we move on to news. And as we've hinted at, there is a new event in Master Duel, the wind and water, uh, water and wind event. The Flandre event. Mm, you'd think so, but no. Ah. Um, so, uh, started on, uh, runs until August 27th. Um, obviously, no things other than water and wind monsters. Uh, they banned Baron. Because otherwise oh, everyone no. would just play... The thing that they did in real life. True. Well, not they. Eh, half of them. <laughs> um, so there's not a lot of asset kind of stuff that you can get from it. There's a harpy lady, cyber harpy lady icon, or a legendary fisherman icon. Otherwise <laughs> it is pretty much just gems. Oh my god. This is terrible. It's not a great event. Um, the one thing that I do really like about it is because of the attribute lock, people can't just go in with Labyrinth and ruin it. Yeah. The thing I don't like is that everyone's going in with Ice Barrier and ruining it. Yeah, it's going to sad. Because they just play so many fucking dumb floodgate monsters. It's so annoying. Mm, so many. Hear me out. Mm. Just don't play it. I want the games. Okay. Maybe you need to go to a financial planner to get them to sort out your game usage. <laughs> Budget the games. We, I'm going to start a new business where I cover people's... I give people advice on what to spend their games on. That's actually sick. Yeah. I charge $400 an hour. <laughs> I'll tell you what you should spend your master gems on. You don't Nothing. take my advice. Have fine. them sit there... And spend them on nothing yeah. and never play, so that no, means no. nothing. So here's what here's the strategy. What you want to do is, you want to save your gems, take good care of your gems. When a deck comes out, you want to play, spend a whole bunch of your gems, and then you don't play the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Appaloosa is banned too, yeah. Um, I'd imagine so, but I can't yeah, I can't find it. So yeah, that makes sense. Makes Barons sense. Gone. I'm like, if Baron's gone, Appa has to go. Um, also, in hint, addition hint. to the event, um, we've got some uh, more assets that you can buy. Uh, we've got a new mate in White Aura Dolphin. Um, the animation of it looks bad because they've tried to this give it the White, white aura, aura and it looks glitchy as. It's really not great. And then we get uh, the Flower Cardian Zebra Grass. Hey, hey, Cardians! <laughs> One Woo. day. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on in Master Duel currently. Uh, on to the TCG, we have, uh, well, OCG, I guess, to start. Uh, for the upcoming set, uh, the Supreme Darkness, yes. we get the new Supreme King support for heroes. Yes. Okay, I thought you were going to not talk about the hero support first. I was like, 
What are we doing no, no, here? No, 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 no. Um, so, admittedly, I haven't read a lot of it, but I feel like they get some sort of unaffected thingy. Um, I don't know. It just... The um, evil hero Neo's Lord Ew. cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. It has other things going on, but I don't know what they are. Evil! <laughs> Uh, is this one in the gate? The heroes get in the gate? No, I don't think they have. Oh, well. Um, Show Jake the, is a hero fan because he didn't pre read these. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I, the heroes. true hero fan, went, they're evil heroes. That's bad. All of them ignoring, um, not calling, fusion is interesting. Where it's like, they can be super polyed, so. Makes sure. sense. I mean, one of them searches Super yeah, Poly, yeah. but it also uh, locks you into heroes until the end of the next turn. So it's like, eh. oh, what heroes can you summon with Super Poly? No, no, it's the Not original Super Poly gimmick. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't want to fucking summon heroes with Super Poly. I want to summon Garura. Well, <laughs> or Mirage. Or he wants to summon absolutely zero summon heroes. What you heroes. use the absolute zero to make? Starving Venom. I don't know. I don't know which one the fuck I want. You're Predator Plant, Dragus to Pelia. You're, you're tight. Just relax. Dragus think, think about things. Dragus Stab. Um, we also got these uh, sort of additional support given out for the um, the Steve archetype that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Oh, um, Steve. It's a trap and it's bad. Um, oh. Special summon one Steve monster from your hand deck or graveyard, but return it to your hand during the end phase. Uh, and then you can banish it from the graveyard, target a Steve continuous spell you control it in your graveyard or banishment, place it on the bottom of the deck and then draw a card. Oh, I thought uh, I thought it was going to add them back to hand and I was like, the Steve card's good. Oh, back to deck's not that bad though. Because like, that means, bad, means you get like, to run less of the bricks and just yeah. put it back for the second play. Just, yeah. The, the so it's not seems great. very underwhelming. It is very moment. much not Malice. This is going to be... This will be... Well, actually, that and the... Xyz deck don't blow me away new ritual beasts yeah ignored for ages and they get a support card later on and it's like <gasps> what will be the pink dolphin oh the blue dolphin <laughs> a um, whale mm -hmm. it's a whale that the it's a tuna it's a big nice ass tuna, tuna. <laughs> um also, currently, uh, halfway through, we have YCS at Sacramento. Um, so we have a bit there, of a uh, breakdown. Uh, no one showed up. A few people showed up. It's much less than what a usual YCS in that country would get. But like half. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, of the uh, top 40 decks in round 8, I believe, is where these stats are coming from. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we have 47% Beansmith Snake Eye. Shocking. 17% uh, Smith Ubel. Shocking. 15% uh, Tempi. Shocking. 5% Runic. Shocking. 2% Runic Labyrinth. 2% mm, Cash Tira. 3% Centurion. 3% uh, Toy White Forest. 3% uh, Unchained Fiendsmith Ubel. Uh, and then another 3% of Millennium Fiendsmith Snake. Oh. Huh. Yay. Sure. Because, yeah, the Millennium stuff just. Does the Fiend Smith shit too? So it's like. Because why wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, oh, I think. Oh, I'll get the stuff. Oh, sorry, Rukasu. I'll figure it out. No, he's I've got it. it. Oh, sick! How much do I owe you? Wait. I, yeah. I don't think he wants anything for it. I mean, is it worth anything? No. I, I will... think the ultras are like three, four bucks. I'll give you three Egyptian dollars. <laughs> that could be a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> what is the Egyptian currency? Sand. Trinkets. How do you think they built the pyramids? Anyway, uh, for the uh, winners or like people that top, uh, there is a new prize card for YCSs and the events associated. Another verse Tempura. So close. Another verse Solaria. This is a level eight fire pyro normal monster. Uh, attack twenty five, defense two thousand. It is searchable. With... No, it isn't. Isn't bonfire level four or lower? <laughs> You have three of them. You've had three of them from inception. Yeah, but I've never had to search something bigger. <laughs> I've never been like, activate bonfire. It's the day of the day I want to add a big one. 
Um, it's a cool artwork. Um, the mat for it looks really cool. It actually looks really good in the um, trophy um, artwork as well. Yeah, I'm about it. And I'm glad that they're continuing on this trend of let's not make prize cards broken. Yeah, let's just make them absolutely worthless. Yes. But they're worth something because they're a prize card. They they're shouldn't not, have the they? additional worth of being a prize card and also being fucking busted. What did it, what did the another verse go for here? I think they were selling it or she's for like four hundred for supers. Oh, so that's still I mean that's about normal. Yeah. They normally used to sell for like eight hundred at Oceans. No, oh, I thought the um I thought those worthless angels were four hundred each. Double well, sorry. Yeah, but that's just because <laughs> if you went out you drinking with any judge, they would just be able to give you some. That's right. I'm calling you out, UK Konami. Do an investigation. Connect the dots. <laughs> oh, Rukusu, I owe you ten cents. Actually, nine cents. Nine cents? Is that how much three, <laughs> three Egyptian dollars is? Yeah, three pound, yeah. Three pound? Yeah. It's Egyptian pounds? Yeah. Wait, so what? What's the conversion rate? Favorable. <laughs> Clearly. Um, Who does? So, uh, moving on to questions. To uh, from the grave. Where we do have a Discord link will be Hold in the description on. below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask the chat us then. questions. Not quite. Um, admittedly, we don't have that many questions this week. Oh, that's fine. Means uh, I can go to bed earlier. Yeah, been very tired. Uh, so we have, it appears to be two questions, although one of them just got added. Oh no, no, we knew about that already. Uh, so, first question from Jesse. Hi, Jesse. How do we feel about two invite OTS no pass downs? The timing on this question is awful. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. The timing on that couldn't have been worse, well, Jesse. I can't believe you'd asked that. Well. I mean, he asked it before you won. That's true. If this mat cost me anything, I wouldn't have done that. I thought it did cost you something. It cost me like five bucks. Oh. These things in Japan are incredibly easy to find. Fair enough. Um, yeah, it does feel bad. Um, I suppose it would feel worse at bigger stores where like, you've probably gone through a lot more effort to get to... like the higher end and you miss out by like a slight bit of resistance or whatever whatever so it's a little bit disappointing um and it also leads us into the thing that we've had over the last few years where like certain um like you it feels almost like it's being gatekeeped at the top that you can just be shut out in effect of getting invites at certain places part of the issue is like here you only realistically have like three regionals to get to go to yeah the limit <laughs> The limitation of the regionals in Oceania specifically and OTS champs and stuff does make it really difficult for most people to get an invite already. So to then further restrict it by no pass downs and again by having less invites to give out at these events, it means that numbers are going to be a lot less. Hmm? I was wondering what time it is. The TV seems to be 20 past, 20 past six. nine. Oh, six. <laughs> seem to, TV seemingly seems to be getting ready for the final of the G1. I would like to watch this. Next question. No one else wants to chime in on that? I did. No. Okay. Uh, next and last question, seemingly, unless Bragg found another one. Uh, uh, no, I was, I was going through our YouTube comments. Um, someone commented on my guns being out last week. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> uh, last question comes to us from 6R6. What do you think we as players can be do to fix format stagnation? I think there's a typo in there. Uh, but what can we do as players to fix format stagnation? Um, I mean, mixing it, we could all only... We could mix it up ourselves, but then also you give me concessions, and that kind of feels shit. Uh, what do what you, you want to do is what everyone else likes to do, and that's complain in fucking Zodiac Duelist relentlessly. Anytime anyone opens Zodiac their Duelist? mouth. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God. I don't actively I so browse much, it. I think so much less of you. <laughs> what? It's great. I fucking hate Zodiac. Oh, yeah. I was there for a yeah. week and I had to leave. So here's the thing. If you don't acknowledge any of the content, it doesn't show up on yeah. your feed. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I have it deliberately hidden and then I search it when <laughs> I, I go manually in there. You have then, to deliberately hide it. Yeah. Otherwise, you might just scroll down your Facebook and then bam. Actual Anime pornography. Movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mm. It's so deep. Anyway, Anywho. you're blocked. <laughs> I mean, like any good player, we just make YouTube comment, uh, comments. <laughs> YouTube content demanding ban lists. That's We're how ban we, lists. Yeah, that's how we change the format. By making prediction see. videos. We're ban lists. Uh, to speak seriously for a second, I think... Um, we know when the ban list coming, so asking where ban list doesn't matter. It was just a visual cue. Keep going. Anyway, um, let's wrap this up. <laughs> the main events. The main events happening like That's an hour and a half visual. earlier well, maybe if than you I stop thought. talking over me. I can actually like get my point out. What you can do is try and make it as like vibrant in your locals as possible to invite people to play. So basically, like Rag said, it does mean sometimes concession, making concessions for like, okay, you can't play X and Y. Or you play Edison or Time Wizard, you oh, play yeah, yeah. Tag Team. Like, you just mix things up a little bit. Like, there's I'd... been way less Tag Team jewels. Yeah, no, we haven't really done them because there's... Like, I keep asking Ben, oh, should we do another sort of fun thing? And he's like, no, we've got this coming up. Or this is happening. Can we not do Tag Team in Edison? Your yeah, Suji's making his interest. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, it is on you, the player base, to work out what's going to work best for you to make your locals entertaining. But it's okay, because in a week and a half, the band list will be here at some point. And Surely we'll actually... we get to, like, give it in the, like, in the live stream. Live stream. Go, go, that's go. That's what I want, but it probably won't happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, as, we'll as, wake up tomorrow morning. as Jake's advice should be taken, literally, go to locals and get your point out. Excuse me? I think it's that. Um, I guess we're finished. Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. That was a penis joke. <laughs>